నా ప్రియమైన తెలంగాణ రాష్ట్ర ప్రజలకు విశిష్ట అతిథులు అతిథులకు ప్రజా ప్రతినిధులకు సీనియర్ అధికారులకు రాజభవన్ పరివార్ సభ్యులకు గౌరవ ప్రింట్ అండ్ మీడియా మిత్రులకు సెవెంటీ ఫోర్ వా గణతంత్ర దినోత్సవం సందర్భంగా హృదయపూర్వక శుభాకాంక్షలు తెలియచేస్తున్నాము మై రెస్పెక్ట్స్ టు ఆల్ ది డిగ్నిటరీస్ ఫర్ అసెంబ్లీ హియర్ ఆల్ ద ఆఫీసర్స్ మై డియర్ పీపుల్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ ఆన్ జనవరి ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ నైన్టీన్ ఫిఫ్టీ India registered a momentous occasion on its glorious history. This is a day when the Indian constitution came into effect thus emerging as supreme text of our world's largest and most vibrant democracy. Republic Day signifies the supremacy of the constitution and highlights the ultimate power rest with the people of the country. The Republic country empowers the people that they can design and design the destiny of the country through their collective will. We are all proud that the architects of our Indian constitution have given us one of the most comprehensive and one of the best constitutions in the world. On this occasion, with the utmost respect i remember and pay my sincere tributes to all the members of the constituent assembly there we there were many legendary personalities and stalwarts of great intellect wisdom and vision in our constituent assembly each one of them truly deserves our great respect and honor it is our duty to remember bharat ratna baba saheb dr b r ambedkar the chairman of the drafting committee and other members of the drafting committee for the dedicated efforts in drafting this finest constitution i am sure that our gratitude to the markers of the constitution the makers of the constitution must be shown through our and waver in commitment to adhering to the ideas enshrined in our indian constitution in order to uphold the spirit of our indian constitution all institutions of democracy such as constitutional authorities elected governments public representatives public servants and individuals must carry out their duty strictly as it mandates standing here on this holy soil of telangana state i feel immensely honored to unfurl the national flag on this auspicious occasion i am happy to note that the very certain of telangana state is in the true spirit of the indian constitution article 3 of the indian constitution made the creation of the telangana state possible as for the aspirations of the people of telangana after a relentless agitation for separate statehood for almost 6 decades in fact telangana statehood movement carried on the true patriotic backing spirit that was exemplified by our medaram warriors the deity samakka and saralamma komaram b chakali aliyamma and other legendary telangana fighters telangana state presents a unique blend of history heritage and modernity and is known for its unity in diversity and its love all over the globe hyderabad which is unique historical and cultural significance is fast emerging as one of the key symbols of india's modern development and progress with its strong presence in science and technology over the past few decades the innovators the entrepreneurs and our highly talented it professionals 
our institutions need special appreciation for ensuring a pride place at global level. I am sure the technology enabled initiative will immensely benefit and empower the underprivileged section and will contribute for the last mile connectivity. In view of challenges posted by climatic change, our farmers are adopting sustainable farming practices, thus making agri agriculture profitable and ensuring food safety, security for our teeming millions. I salute the spirit of our farmers for this transformation of the agricultural scenario in Telangana. Telangana state is also witnessing the tremendous expansion of the national highways and is thus on the road to emerging as one of the best connected states. I thank our Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji for allocating the lion's share in this sector. I am happy to state that I was truly fortunate to participate in the recent flagging of ceremony of the one day Bharat Express train that runs between the Secunderabad and Visagapatnam. It strengthens the connectivity between the Telangana state and Andhra Pradesh while serving as a tribute to the common bonds, shared cultures, traditions and history of the two states and the people. The indigenously developed Bande Bharat Express is a true symbol of art in Nirmal Bharat which emphasizes on the job creators and wealth creators for building a strong and thriving economy based for the country as envisioned by the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi. For the transformation of any state as sustainable, inclusive, progressive and as the most developed state, the quality of education, innovation, incubation, research, development and the active participation of all the sections of the people in the mission or the prerequisites. I call upon the people to be active partners and join hands in all these endeavors for all the round development of the state. I am delighted to share that there were some initiatives from Rajgavan to contribute to the all round development of the state. My key initiatives were improving the nutritional status of the particularly vulnerable tribal group of people with special emphasis on fighting anemia among the girls and women promoting and distributing locally available nutritional food like mehu or ladu is one of the effort in that direction. Distribution of Rajeshri chicks is also a similar effort. The improved livelihood opportunities and effective utilization of local resources in remote tribal habitations are also major goals. Conducting medical camps, health profiling, and presenting the bike ambulances to the adopted remote Adivasi tribal habitations were also undertaken. Motivating higher educational institutions to excel in quality education, research, development and innovation is a major objective in launching the Chancellor Connecting Alumni Initiative. Regular interactions with the students and motivating them for active participation in state's progress and nation building will remain my constant endeavor. As the first citizen and as one among the beloved people of Telangana, it will be my privilege and honor to guide, contribute and supplement the welfare of people and development of the state. As I once again extend my heartiest Republic Day wishes to my beloved people of Telangana, I, I appeal that we all rededicate ourselves to promotion and practice of core ideals like justice, liberty, equality, fraternity enshrined in our Indian constitution. Let us all take pride in our constant efforts for equal, equitable and inclusive development of the state and the country. Our Honorable B.R. Ambedkar Ji said, there must not be a class that has got all the privileges and a class that has got all the burdens to carry. New buildings are not for development, not only for development. Nation building is for development. All the farmers and the marginalized people should have farms and houses 
Few should not have farmhouses. That is not the development. Everyone should have equal share in the development. My child should study in the university which has the world class infrastructure. It is the development. It is not the development. Sending my child abroad, only my child abroad, it is not the development. India is a young country. As per the 2011 statistics, more than 60% of the country people are young. So we call it as young India. But when we project all of our positive aspects, we have to think about the stressful conditions in Telangana. The national statistic says per day 22 suicides occur in Telangana. Approximately one hour per, per suicide one hour is occurring in Telangana. I appeal to the youngsters, be courageous. The life is challenging. We have to face the challenges. Stand like a rock. If a chisel is hitting you, it is to shape you. If a thorn is pricking you, if a thorn can prick, if a crown can prick, it can be thrown. Even if it's a thorn, it can be thrown. So you be courageous. Because that self-confidence only can build you as a very noble citizen of this country. And I'm really happy that the youngsters of Telangana should motivate others also. Thanks for the untiring effort, service and sacrifices of millions of people of India that has shown in true power of resilience and is emerging as a key, key global player by assuming the presidency of G20. Telangana is also going to take part by showcasing its cultural heritage, cuisine, architectural wonders to the global leaders and delegations who will visit the state during the year-long G20 deliberations and celebrations. So I invite all the youngsters of the Telangana, all the university students to actively participate in the G20 conferences. Telangana Gauravani Nilabedda. Telangana Praja Swamiyani Kapadi Kunda. Telangana Hakkunu Nilabedda Kunda. Telangana Ta Nakkunna Anubandha Mudel Kadu. Idi Uttudatto Jeevi Nunde Vachindi. Telangana Prajana Abhirati Lo Na Patra Tappa Na Patra Tappa Kunda Undidi Na Petta Balam Hard Work Nijari Ki Prema Kotta Mandi Ki Nenu Natchak Tappovachi Kani Na Kutu Telangana Valenti Ishtam Andu Ke Yenta Kashramayana I want to mention, before I conclude, I would like to recall the endearing characterization of Telangana by the renowned poet and freedom fighter Dasaradi Krishnamacharya Garu in one of his poems, Na Telangana, which goes on, Na Telangana, Tali Kamjata Bali. Na Telangana Koti Punyala Jana Na Telangana Koti Ratanala Veena Jai Telangana Jai Hind